Ladies and gentlemen, we are playing for peace. Central London and musicians from the city's major orchestras and music schools unite to bring one of its busiest corners to a standstill. The flash mob, organised in hours on social media, designed to send a message that transcends words. We have just played the Ukrainian national anthem and uh, two very, very important Ukrainian pieces. One of them written by Valentin Silvestrov. The composer who, according to the reports that I received, is now in Kyiv, is now actually under attack. His life is actually in danger. And I think playing his piece today was just a gesture to show that our hearts are with them. Stand with Ukraine! Stand with Ukraine! In America's political capital, Washington, rhetoric amping up. The words being used, war crimes, slaughter and murder, in a sense that every hour, not every day, counts. What we need now is a sense of urgency. Uh, the attacks on civilians and the destruction of Ukraine is going to accelerate this week, and they need assistance now. Everything we have done has been good, but it has been too slow and half steps at a time. Further north, in Toronto, a man showing his feelings to Russia. No fly zone. No fly zone. Canadians here demanding an immediate no-fly zone over Ukraine. To the south, in Mexico City, the same conviction. Hundreds marched along its famous Reformer Avenue. Ukrainian nationals living there asking for one thing. We ask you to support us so that they stop killing us. Ukrainians are being killed. They are not only killing soldiers, they are killing all Ukrainian civilians. They are shooting at people who are in their cars trying to flee. And now, familiar sight here, President Putin as Adolf Hitler, a reminder of the broader fears driving protests and policy since the start of this conflict. Stephanie Prentice, BBC News.